this 25th birthday of the Cultural Center. Visitors to the North Peace Cultural Center may have noticed something unusual in the parking lot this week. Over the weekend, a load of sand appeared, and over the past few days, it has started to take shape as an elaborate sculpture. The display is part of the Cultural Center's Bright Nights in June Gala happening this weekend to celebrate the work the center does in the community. The arts is so important to grow as a well-rounded individual, so, and that's why we encourage people to come as young children to experience the art when they're young, to realize that there are lots of avenues of opportunity open to them, um, and, and just to, to experience art in, in a different format. You know, maybe, maybe painting is not your thing, maybe sculpture is, maybe uh, acting on stage is, maybe singing or dancing is. Uh, there are so many different facets to the arts that there's something for everyone. Peter Vogelar is one of two artists working on the project. He says he's trying to make the sculpture as representative of the center as possible. My colleague Dennis Klein and I are creating um, just all sorts of elements of the cultural center. We've got live music, we've got classical music, we've got um, theater, the library, art, the gallery. It's all in there. There'll be lots of things for people to find. While Vogelar and Klein will be working on the sculpture all week, they'll be hosting a special public demo tomorrow between 10 and 2, where they'll be joined by local chainsaw artist Ryan Cook. We pack up like a five gallon pail of sand and get, we have a few different tools they can try and see how the material feels. But it, um, I, I regret the fact that I didn't start sculpting sand until I was 50. <laughs> and, you know, it's actually because I got into sand sculpting that I can make a living as an artist. And I wish I'd learned about it a long, long time ago. Um, really beat sign painting, I tell you. Vogelar says he hopes that through demos like this, he can pass along the art form to the next generation. When you go to a sand sculpture contest, you'd be surprised, like, the average age is about 50. Really? Yeah. So you, we, we need to get more young people involved. And so if, if, if there's an artist listening to me right now that wonders how the heck they're going to make a living, learn about sand. Hugh Smith, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.